first thing first in the morning, I always make sure that I start my day with a nice large glass of water. If you think about it, your body is fasting for about six to eight hours while you're asleep. So it's very important that you get water in your body when you first wake up. This is just a slight recipe for my detox water that I usually have during the week. I do infuse it overnight using cucumber, lemon slices, and also a little bit of ginger. And then I add it to a pitcher. And then I fill it up with water and again, let that infuse overnight. You can make it the day of, but to get the best results, it is very nice to infuse it overnight. I personally prefer to use this recipe because all three of these ingredients act together as an awesome detox. Um, they also help to keep your stomach very deep bloated in the morning. I know for me, I definitely struggle with bloating throughout the day. Starting your day with something like this really does help keep your energy alive during the day as well. Next, my absolute favorite part of the day is creating my green smoothie. So here I'm using kale, green apple, celery, cucumber, and I'm also gonna be using a squeeze of lemon and also some honey. And I actually forgot to show you guys, but I'm using pineapple as well. So here you guys will just see me loading up everything into the blender. Green smoothies are also really, really great for a detox. Um, sometimes I switch it up depending on the day and just my mood, to be honest. And the lemon just kind of acts as a nice kick to add to the smoothie. Now I know some people can drink their green smoothies without a hint of sweetness, but me personally, I do prefer to have something sweet. To me, everything is better with a little squeeze of honey and then I chose pineapple just because that's honestly my favorite fruit to use. I usually also um, use coconut water, but I actually did not have it on hand, so I'm just using a regular bottled water and four cubes of ice. So here you just see me blending everything together, and I like it to just have a nice consistency. Um, just depending on your blender, you just let it keep going until it's smooth. I also like to have this with one boiled egg just to make sure that I stay full. And also a boiled egg is nice just to kick off your day with a little bit of protein as well. So about an hour and a half to two hours later, I'm usually having my first snack of the morning. So this is gonna be plain Greek yogurt. And as you guys can see, it's only 80 calories. Every now and again, I will treat myself to a flavored yogurt, but to be honest, plain Greek yogurt with a little bit of honey is the best. It's only four grams of sugar, 15 grams of protein, which means you'll stay pretty full in the mornings. For additional flavor, I do like to top off my yogurt with this homemade granola recipe. So here I'm using old fashioned oats and I'm also going to be using a little bit of flour. I'll make sure I leave the recipe in the description box below. For this recipe, I did use wheat flour, but white flour is also fine if that's what you have on hand. Also using some baking soda and some sliced almonds for a little bit of a crunch. And I'm gonna also be using some cinnamon just because that's one of my favorite spices as well. Once you have mixed and combined all of the dry ingredients, you wanna pour it into a long baking pan. And we're gonna pop it in the oven for probably about 10 minutes, just to mainly give our dry ingredients a nice and lightly toasted flavor. Next, while that is toasting, I'm gonna go ahead and use about a tablespoon or two of softened butter. And I'm also gonna add some cinnamon and also adding a little bit of honey again. As I said before, I really love honey, guys. <laughs> but putting this on the stove on a low to medium heat, we don't want it to be too high because we don't want to burn it, but this is going to be a part of our wet ingredients and this is gonna be our binding agent to help our granola stick together once it is out of the oven. I'm also adding a little bit of brown sugar just for a little bit of sweetness as well. So as soon as that is all done melting together, we're gonna take our dry ingredients out of the oven and place them into a mixing bowl. Now y'all gotta excuse my mess. I feel like any real cook, if you're not a real cook, if you ain't got no mess in the kitchen. <laughs> but right here, I'm just adding a little bit of peanut butter. Again, this is gonna aid in helping everything stick together. I'm also adding some coconut flakes just to give it a nice sweet kick. And I'm also gonna be adding some chocolate chips. So you can kind of call this a peanut butter chocolate chip type of granola recipe. And now once your peanut butter is good and evenly distributed amongst your oats, you want to go ahead and pour over your wet ingredients and again just continue to mix, 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 mix. Mm -hmm. 
Once everything is blended pretty well, you wanna go ahead and pour that mixture back into your baking dish and make sure it is evenly distributed. I chose to use a spoon to help make sure everything was even. And I even also took a small baking dish and flattened everything out just to make sure that when it's baking, we don't want one side more done than the other side. We want everything to be nicely toasted. I popped it into the oven for probably about another 10 to 12 minutes. And this is pretty much the outcome. So you want it to have a nice golden look to it. Again, I chose to use my granola as a yogurt topper, but even if you wanted to have this as a snack by itself, you could definitely do that as well. So I just store it into a quart size freezer bag, leave it on the counter and I'm good to go. Next for lunch this week, I am having this amazing and super bomb homemade tikka masala recipe with about a third a cup of white rice. And don't worry guys, I'm going to be having this tikka masala recipe video up very, very soon so you guys can try the recipe out for yourselves. I do prefer to meal prep during the week just because it saves me a ton of time and it's very convenient for me during the week. If you're a person who really enjoys soda but you have body goals, I would definitely recommend drinking sparkling water because it's flavored and it gives you that fizz and that bubble as a soda would, but it has reduced sugar, actually no sugar, and it also tastes really yummy without all the extra calories. Snack number two of the day is going to be these yummy crispy red apple slices and I'm also going to have them with a little bit of peanut butter. Now I was able to find these really cute um, little Jif to go peanut butter cups. Um, they're pretty low in calories and um, I like the fact that they're in cups because you won't go overboard with just using the whole jar of peanut butter to dip your apples. These are already sectioned off into tiny containers. For those of you who are on a weight loss journey, I would definitely recommend PB2. It is extremely low in calories, great alternative to the traditional um, peanut butter. All you do is add a couple of tablespoons of water. As you can see, it's only 45 calories. Um, you're also getting in your protein in, so this is definitely a great alternative if you're trying to lose some weight. So in conclusion, that is what I eat in a day, guys. I try to usually eat my meals about one and a half to two hours apart. In total, in my weight loss journey, I have probably lost around 35 to 40 pounds, but now that I am pretty much at my desirable weight, I just try to make healthier choices. So I hope you guys were inspired by this video. If you want to see more videos in the Life With Lock, definitely make sure y'all like this video, share, comment down below. Let me know what you eat in a day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.